Hi, I'm Lisa Bedford, The Survival Mom, and today I have a video review of one of the best products to come across my desk in a very long time. It's an emergency kit, but it isn't just any emergency kit. We all have seen the emergency kits for one person or the emergency kits for two persons, and they all look alike. They'll come in a red bag with a zipper and pretty much everything inside is kind of humdrum and it's all the same stuff over and over again. I have never reviewed one of those kits because I wasn't very impressed with them. In fact, over the years I've always recommended that you just make your own emergency kit if you want one that is really good and high quality. Until I came across the John Bullivant Urban Survival Backpack. It's a solar backpack. and. Um, I am not affiliated with this company and they are not a paid advertiser, but they send me one of their kits and said let us know what you think. So I will let them know what I think and I'm going to tell you at the same time. First of all, the kit came in a gigantic red bag. And when I first saw this bag, my first thought was, hmm, I wonder if Mrs. John Bullivant buys expensive purses that come in a protective you know, fabric bag, and that's what they do. Whether it's Dooney and Burke or Coach, they all come in a nice fabric bag to protect your purse or your bag from dust or bugs or the dog chewing on it or whatever. But this backpack came in a bright red, one of those little backpacks that uh, comes together in the back with a string when you decide you want to use it. Now, John Bullivant, when I was reading the instructions that came with the whole kit, said that this red bag is meant as kind of a, not something you necessarily would carry every day. You might keep this in your car, or you might keep this by your back door, but in here might go things like uh, larger, bulkier things, like maybe um, uh, boots, or you know, maybe a big heavy you know, coat, or something like that. Nothing you would carry every day on you, but nevertheless, it's uh, something you might want to have. Bright red, you can't miss it. However, what impressed the heck out of me wasn't so much the red bag, although it's, you know, it's pretty. It actually is the kit itself. And I'm going to highlight just a few things that the backpack comes with. And you can go to the John Bull event website. And you can see the um, URL right below this video. And you can check it out in more detail. But the first thing that struck me is it's a gorgeous bag. Now, I don't always buy the top quality. I don't always buy the ultimate quality of something, but at least I know it when I see it. And this bag is beautiful and it's very, very high quality. And oddly enough, as a mom, you know what impressed me? These. The zippers are just so, I know it's crazy, but I have struggled with zippers on backpacks and suitcases enough in my life where when I began to just open each section of this, uh, this particular backpack, I was really impressed. So this is a solar backpack. It has two small solar panels on the front and when you open up the first pouch, the smaller pouch, inside is something I think you're going to really be impressed with. It actually is um, a small solar generator and you can tell by looking at the panel on the very top how much power is stored in here. There's a little LED flashlight light bulb you know, to kind of, I guess, help you find things. And this is where the solar energy is actually stored. Now, I know what you may be thinking. You're thinking, well, Lisa, in case there's ever an EMP, <clears throat> worst case scenario, there's a coronal, coronal mass ejection, the world as we know it comes to a standstill, you know, what good are electronics going to be? Well, we have spent some time on my blog, thesurvivalmom.com, talking about that particular worst case scenario. But you know what? It's really a worst, worst case scenario. It is so much more likely for you to have a breakdown by the side of the road. It is so much more likely if you live in a big city and you work in the center that you may come out from work one day and find <clears throat> that there are riots or that it isn't quite safe for you to walk or drive home. This is meant for urban survival. So inside here you have a little tiny generator that is going to store power for you to power up your cell phone, an iPad, a laptop. In the last pouch, there actually is a padded section where you could put a laptop and keep it right there. The whole thing is put together very ingeniously. So I'm going to just highlight a few of the items, but I wanted to point a couple of things out to you. 
This is the emergency flashlight. You can power it by um, winding this, but who wants to do that if you don't have to? It also can be powered by the solar panels in the front of this backpack. Um, there is a very small cord that is provided that attaches to a walkie-talkie as well as the flashlight <clears throat> and you would attach this end to the walkie-talkie or your flashlight and then this end you would insert so it could be powered by your solar power backpack. I thought that was pretty clever. Included also are some things for maybe a worst case scenario, just not the EMP kind. And that is, ah, oh, where did we go? Right here. It's a chemical biological radioactive protective suit. It comes in this vacuum packed bag. As well, here is a fire extinguisher that is just the right size to fit into your John Bullivant Urban Survival back, Solar Backpack. And then there's the microfiber blanket. There are hand and foot warmers. And we have these in two different sizes. There are chemical resistant gloves. There is a blood stop trauma pad and a small first aid kit here. You, they even thought of including a pill organizer. So if you do have to walk home from the office or you do have to be on the road or you're just out there trying to get to a safe place, at least you'll have your medication. A couple of glow sticks, an emergency sleeping uh, bag, and an emergency foil blanket. They have thought of just about everything, including a two-in-one charging adapter. So with this, you are all set. Now let me show you what impressed the heck out of my son in particular and probably my husband too. Um, in the center you'll just have your uh, your first aid kit in here and there are some emergency food bars. Um, this can be used to filter water, filter drinking water. Like I said, they thought of everything. But here was what was most impressive and that is a ballistic shield. Now, I have not tried this with uh, a handgun. I'm not quite brave enough to hold this in front of me and suggest to my husband that he fire a, a 9 million round at me just to see how effective this is. You know, women, um, do you have that kind of a, as much trust in your husband or boyfriend where you would just say, okay, honey, you know, fire at it and I'm going to be okay. But this ballistic shield does come with a backpack and it can be stored in the very last section here or I suppose you could, um, you know, hold it in front of you but I thought it was a very, very nice touch to the whole thing. So this is an outstanding backpack, an outstanding emergency kit, unlike anything I've seen before, and definitely unlike anything that is very typical of survival um, or preparedness prepper type websites and stores. I give this a five-star rating. I feel that they have thought of uh, things from nuclear uh, threats, to just purifying water. The water purification bottle comes with some water purification tablets. They thought of something like uh, signaling. There's a whistle and there's an LED flashlight. I think this one, yeah, uh, comes with batteries. And I really, it, I thought it was just outstanding. So you can check out the prices and check out the features at the John Bullivant uh, website. The URL is just right below uh, this video. And I think that for the price, I think that it is, uh, I think it's fairly priced. It's going to be at the very high end of emergency kit prices out there. But if you think about it, um, you're getting top quality of everything. Going back to the um, generic emergency kits that you see everybody, you know, everywhere. It seems like everybody and their dog has one of these generic um, emergency kits to sell. But the whole point of having emergency supplies is that when there's an emergency, that supply, that tool, that food, that water bottle, the walkie-talkie will come through for you when you need it. That's the whole point of having emergency supplies, right? You don't need a water bottle that when you sip it, no water comes out. I had that experience uh, for a, kind of, um, a couple months ago with a rather pricey water bottle. The water just wouldn't come out. You don't want to find out that uh, a hand tool just breaks in your hand and when you look at it, it just says made in China and it was the cheapest quality possible. You want to know that what you have in that kit, whether you make your own or whether you purchase one that's already made for you, that what is in there is going to work in a worst case scenario. Now, is there a downside? Yeah, there's a downside. Let me show you the whole 
hit again. Let me just zip these up because you know how much I like the zippers. Oh, and I just remembered one feature they included. I'll show you in just a second. But you have the three compartments, and in the back, on the strap, you receive a bottle of a self-defense fogger. And they even have a little compartment here on the back strap flap, or the back, uh, the back strap, I guess I should call it, where you can insert your self-defense fogger. Um, it would also be large enough for a small magazine, just one, I'm thinking, but um, it could hold some, you know, it could hold a knife if you wanted, some kind of sharp projectile uh, instrument. But take a good look at this, and here is the drawback. The drawback is, honestly, it looks expensive. It does. If I was a thug standing on a, th a street corner, and I saw a man walking toward me, and as he walked away, I saw this backpack on his back, I would figure, hey, if he can afford that, and that looks high quality, that's gorgeous, uh, what else does he have on him? That's the truth. Um, around our house, we have backpacks of just different qualities, and some of them are pretty crummy. Um, in a worst case scenario, one of those might be your best bet. So I think that the John Bullivant backpack, high quality, excellent construction, um, I do believe it's worth the money. The one drawback, it's almost too pretty. Ladies, just like the guy when you were single and you saw some cute guy and you just thought to yourself, you know, he's too cute. He's pretty. That would be the John Holland backpack. So I give it a five-star rating just with the one caveat that it is attractive. And because of that, I suppose it could be a target uh, for a, uh, a thief or maybe make you a target for someone who is looking to see what else you might have in your pockets. So this is Lisa Bedford, The Survival Mom, and this has been a video review of the John Bullivant Urban Survival Solar Backpack. See you next time around.